Hey everybody, this is Pete. This is my third video taking a look at some of the tips and tricks that I learned from AU 2020. And I'm going to reference Demir Alley's iLogic class yet again because I came across a, a really helpful tip that I hadn't even thought of before, but makes total sense. So oftentimes when we utilize iLogic rules, we're trying to set up this rules-based design using conditional logic. And so I've got a conveyor model here. And in the conveyor model, sometimes we ship it and we need legs. Other times we're going to ship it. We just need the conveyor bed. They're going to suspend it from the ceiling. It's going to lay on the floor. Who knows? But we don't need the legs. So what I did was I created a true-false parameter. And using the true-false parameter, you can even see behind the scenes, I am able to turn the legs on and off. So traditionally what I've always done when I've written an iLogic rule like this is I would say, well, if the legs required equals true, then we're going to turn on the extrusion. It's kind of cascading. So if I turn this one on, all the other stuff it's based on will become unsuppressed. But if it's not on or false, then all the other features dependent on it will suppress as well. So, I mean, you could put as many features in here as you want. I just have the one. But then this takes up space, right? And it's not complicated. But it's a typical if, else, and if kind of situation. But then he got me thinking in his class. He said, what if we got rid of this? So what if we did this? We grab this line of code, a lot of copying and pasting in iLogic. I paste it, but instead of making it equal true, I actually set it equal to my parameter name because it's already a true-false parameter. Do I need the legs or no? And if it's true-false... I can just use my true false parameter to drive the if. So if I comment this out, go ahead and save the rule and let's give it a shot. So I'm going to use the awesome form I made in my last video and here's my true false. Apply it and it works like a charm. So it's a perfect substitute and the reason this works is because in my parameter table I made that parameter a true false parameter. So basically all you're doing is saving yourself some lines of code. It's way more efficient to just set your condition equal to the true false parameter versus having to write out the if then, and if, else if, all sorts of logic that would go in there. So I thought that was a really cool tip and that would save a little bit of code. As always, I recommend if you're gonna do something like this, you could just write some code like this controls whether or not the legs are included. And that's just because if you don't see the if, else, and if, you might not know what that's doing. So you could add commentary. I think that would be helpful in your code. So again, a little bit of a short, quick hitter today. Hope you found that helpful. Again, in the comments area, let me know if you have any questions or send me some really cool stuff you learned from AU 2020 because I'm always looking to learn some new things. Yep, hope all is well. Have a blessed day.